Hey guys, what's up? This is Michael and welcome to a new PlayStation uh, 5 video. Uh, so in today's video I wanted to showcase uh, the new uh, PS5 Auto Jailbreak and uh, Autopilot uh, application uh, host that I made. Uh, but before getting into that I wanted to clarify <coughs> some things. Um, so this, this project is uh, based, uh, was based on, uh, on, on uh, a GitHub repo uh, by a guy called Stewie-81 uh, and uh, it had been showcased on uh, on other YouTube uh, videos uh, like the, the Modded Warfare and, uh, and others um, so it's basically a host as you are aware of it's uh, for the ESP32 S3 uh, the fact that it has, uh, it has uh, 16 megabyte uh, of uh, storage make it uh, good for uh, holding a good amount of the payloads and uh, the elves, uh, especially when it's increasing in size uh, nowadays. Uh, so yeah, it was good uh, when it released. Um, there was some challenges on it. Uh, the project itself was open source. Um, and do, uh, what I tried to, to do is that to try to work on it on, and improving what, what's inside. So when KStuff uh, 1.6 released, um, I tried to integrate that inside, modifying some stuff, making auto gel break. Um, but unfortunately, uh, that unfortunately that that uh, repo was not um, up to date. You can say uh, the release uh, leaked the the latest uh, Arduino uh, file that even the binary is uh, using. Um, there was some problems on the. Uh, flasher itself it has its auto flasher so you can double click it was ha it has like four files that it's flashing to the ASP so uh, it has challenges when you even have uh, the, the, the the board itself connected and you have like some com ports um, uh, say for example that the board in com5 and you have a com port one uh, this auto flasher will not work it will only uh, try to like try to to do it to work on COM1, communicating with the COM1, so you need to download any COM ports or like changing the orders that it will be first. So it was not the best case scenario uh, to use or something. And so I tried to work with it or like trying to use the open source to make this thing work in terms of um, adding uh, some functionalities there, um, but uh, it didn't work out. So as you can see here, uh, the Revo itself. Uh, you can see the, the the INO, it's like one month old. Uh, the guy doesn't maintain anything in, inside the thing, only releasing some releases. Um, so um, what I've done is I modified and I released, and I said that this is based on a fork. I took a fork and released that. Um, and uh, the first thing, once I released that, I got this post, which uh, from him, I plugged him, of course, because the the way it laid out. So you can see here, uh, he wrote one word, "seft." So the message is: if you opening source some project and you keep it in, uh, keeping the fork open, you should expect people to improve it, not just like like calling them names. So as you can see here, I just like replied him immediately. I told him that like the mod that the fork you enabled, I didn't make any uh, new repo or something like that. I even posted a GitHub issue, which I ended up, if you can go here and you check here the issues, you'll find only one issue here, which is closed. I removed all the details. You can see that it was from me because the the, the way I got the reply, uh, it was not the best uh, outcome to get. So I ended up blocking this guy. I mean, it's it's not a way uh, that the, the scene itself, uh, it's a little bit toxic, uh, as some some people on the scene say. But anyway, I want to just to get this away uh, before I'm getting started with that. And just like to clarify, uh, with the time, once ATAN 2.3p uh, released, I had some more issues inside the host. There is no space there. The, the, uh, the, even the INO is, was not working properly, um, it has limitation and partition in size. So I ended up rewriting the whole thing from uh, scratch. Um, so yeah, uh, this is basically uh, it. I just like dumped that one. Um, as you can see, you can see that I have a fork here. Um, so if you can go to the forks, you'll find that I have a fork um, from his thing. But what I done now is I ended uh, out of support. So all the releases that I released, it's already now out of support. I released my own 
uh, application with uh, uh, with the with with its own uh, location gel, gel, I mean the the release itself. Um, so yeah, uh, this is a whole new host added the new features and today uh, I wanted to share that with you because this is getting uh, ridiculous in the scene even in Discord now I had a chat with him and uh, just like the way it lays I don't know how old is he or like he is or what what is what I'm dealing with but anyway um, just like to clear this uh, from apart this is a, a whole new uh, application host uh, this is based on stuff even some ideas I added and modified in my releases he took it away from me I mean he took it from from me and added to his host without even a uh, thing um, uh, like noting that or something so for him this is not a theft uh, but just like calling me uh, as this so yeah uh, this is uh, this is getting ridiculous so just like I wanted to clear this uh, air and by the way if you try to install his host now so if you go um, to his uh, GitHub repo, um, let me go there, and you try to get his latest and greatest. Even here, just because I said that, like you need to use Node MD, uh, Node MCU, uh, he said that like nothing. You can use the EXE inside this thing. So try to download the latest. So if you press here and you click now, and you try to save it. You will find the antivirus telling you that uh, couldn't download. There's a virus detected. Yeah, you can see that in a moment now. So it's like trying to download now. And it will fail. I mean, it's it taking a little bit of time, but you can see here, this is the same from his link. It's mentioned here, can download virus detected. Even if you download it and you disable antivirus and you try to run it, it will not work. Um, so yeah, he just uh, a little bit frustrated because the release now, my, my release is getting better than him. Um, so just, yeah, he, he needs to deal with it. Uh, but anyway, let's let's jump to the uh, new things that I made on the automatic C. As you can see here, it's mentioned um, that can download virus detected. So good luck with fixing that. Good luck with stealing ideas from uh, me as I can say now, because it's potentially, it's like clearly that he's taking that advantage from. Um, but yeah, let's let's move on to the, uh, to the good stuff and uh, show the new release uh, that I was working on uh, for the last uh, day or so. Uh, I'm getting this uh, sorted out pretty quick. So let's go there and check. So now with the new release, I didn't release it yet. It will be up on the repo soon. But as you can see here, this is the new releases uh, it will be shown in that GitHub page on the releases I released yesterday 2.1. Uh, as you can see here, it has support for ETA hand 2.3p. Um, it has a new added new file manager, so I had to uh, scrap all the, uh, the the stuff was in the previous I knew. I didn't use it. I like used a uh, whole new uh, file manager, and you can see uh, you will see now more improvements. And the most important uh, most important thing is the auto payload execution. So basically this uh, host is auto jailbreaking so that you don't need to press a button or um, load a payload after the, the jailbreak is done. Uh, this can be done. So what you need to do is just upload either autorun.elf or autolab.ben because we have the case stuff on L format. We have the ben, uh, we have the um, ETAN on a ben format. So you can upload either of these. Uh, as long as there is one of them there inside your file host, it will attempt to uh, execute it once uh, the jailbreak is done. And uh, this uh, yesterday release had uh, the, the, the the latest ATA hand 2.3p uh, by default. Uh, it's named as auto ben So yeah, you can just uh, change it to the case stuff you want to use uh, case stuff. Uh, also, the um, the log or the console log is uh, hidden, so you can use L1 to show uh, that console log. A lot of UI improvement. A lot of UI, uh, the, the background animation now. Uh, has a settled uh, like a progress and a settled state once everything is uh, is made the liquid glass buttons from previous releases um, added uh, more uh, payloads per row uh, also there is a description on hover so um, so yeah basically it this is it so this is the old thing as you can see uh, the old uh, or like the yesterday release had uh, almost 12 uh, megabyte uh, of storage um, so let's go now and uh, check what's new on the uh, new release. So let's switch to the PlayStation 5. So let's go now and launch the uh, new update for the ESP host. 
And once you press on the ESP host package, it will take a few seconds. You can see now this is the progress of the jailbreak itself. And it's now jailbroken. What will happen now is fade in background. It will call the autorun.ben, switching the autorun, and then it send it. You can see now it's starting ETA hen. You can see case stuff started successfully. In a moment, it will be loading the toolbox. You can see now we are already uh, jailbroken and everything is working fine. So as you can see here, you can hover, as I mentioned before in my previous videos, now the description is up uh, on the uh, top corner, uh, which is leaving space. You can add more payloads if it's come uh, along. You can modify the uh, payloads uh, mapping file. Uh, from the host itself. So let's go to the file uploader because that that, that new file upload uh, thing have uh, new features. Uh, actually, we can access it from here. So if you press L2 and you can see here, this is the address for the admin page. Okay, so it's not loading that. Now it's loading. Okay, so as you can see, this is the new update that I added. So as you can see now, there is a substantial space added about like extra three megabyte. It was uh, uh, wasted so now you have also free uh, almost five and uh, 520 26 uh, megabyte you can see now there's a progress bar here and you can see there is a tip here which is mentioned that you can upload or rename payloads uh, any payload to uh, o2 run.pen or o2 run.elf uh, to auto load it after jailbreak um, this is a new icon fresh icon so now instead of like having this uh, text you can now just like press on that and you can see also there is a new button added here for the rename. So for example, if I don't want to enable the auto run, uh, the auto execution of any band, you can simply can change that. So if I re renamed, I can just like press here and I can change the name from, uh, let me press here, go a little bit in the back and I will name it ETHN instead of uh, auto run band. So let's, I will delete that. I can name it whatever the name I want. Um, let's say, for example, now it's name e.ben and let's hit done and I click OK. Um, so you will see now it will auto root and this highlight for the auto run has, uh, has, has gone. So that means that when I run the jailbreak on the next uh, time, it will not uh, auto uh, run uh, the auto run because there is no auto run now. Uh, but if I want to auto run any uh, any any uh, elf or ben from here, you just like simply press on the edit button. It will pop up this uh, location, and you can just uh, let's go here, uh, and you can remove that, uh, make it lower case, and then name it O2 run. and then press OK. So that works uh, on Benz and Elf. And once you've done that, you'll find it highlighted. If it's highlighted in blue, uh, that means it will auto execute. So um, either the Ben or the Elf, you can rename it. Um, so only keep one auto run. If you have multiple uh, auto runs, it will periodize uh, peri the, um, the Elf over the Ben. Um, so what, what you can do is just like manage this uh, from uh, like a Windows uh, based uh, host. So uh, go back to your PC here and you can uh, just uh, like rename and delete and upload all that stuff. Uh, just like don't forget that you, any changes you made, you need to uh, do that on the payload map. So if you change it that to another name and you want to map it to another execution of any file of like some sort of, you just need to uh, also download that um, payload underscore map.js. Do the, do the modification that you've done for the renaming here inside that and upload it back. So you can delete it, um, download it, modify it, delete it, and then upload it. So um, you have now more space. Uh, you have now the ability to do uh, the auto run from either from the uh, PC or from the uh, PlayStation itself. So you can log into the, uh, the admin page and do the changes necessary here. So this is also a big, uh, big, big bonus or big improvement that you can uh, adjust the auto run from the PlayStation itself without any uh, for a PC. So next time it will run, you can just make it instead of like running the ATN, you want to make the, the, the case stuff or something like that. You don't have to uh, go through a PC or something.
um, and you have more space. You have a pro, uh, you have a, like a space a storage here, measuring the the how many storage left. You can see that this is the used space on the uh, on the ASV chip. So yeah, uh, this is basically it. Um, I see now that the application itself in a very good state. I might release some uh, more improvements uh, with time, depending on what improvement could be uh, used. I also could uh, have your feedback if you want to enhance something, or you want wish, or you wish uh, to have something included on the um, uh, on 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 this releases. Uh, I'll keep it uh, uh, like up updated when I get the time. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Thanks guys for checking uh, for sticking in and. Um, if you like my video, please uh, drop a like and subscribe um, and share it with a friend. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.